if people knew what they're bringing into the grave, you're going to see your demons. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. In this holy month of khalwa and seclusion, a reminder for ourselves who knows himself will know his Lord. Means everything that governs you is what they want us to go through in that seclusion. Khalwa is based on tafakkur, based on contemplation, means that the student who doesn't make tafakkur, doesn't make contemplation, then Mawlana Shaykh would say, monkey in, monkey out. <laughs> means if you're not going to take a process of tafakkur and contemplation, what are you going to do in the khalwa? The khalwa is to know yourself. The inner reality, the zikr and everything they give you to recite is going to give you the energy and the, the power to go within yourself, that to close all the senses and to go within the self and open up the soul senses and begin to sense the heart and begin to become latif from the zikrs, you become very subtle and you begin to experience your energies. And Allah wants you to know that everything you did, everything you saw, everything you heard, everything you involved yourself with, it's an energy and it was burned onto your hard disk. And you're taking that disk with you into the grave. That's why these technologies Allah wants us to know them. Now they have chips that are unimaginable and how much it can capture. And Allah is just saying, I made the better one, I made the best chip. Your brain will capture everything you see, hear, you do, you speak, everything will have an energy. And the first khalwa is like the azab of the qab, that you're in the room, you do your zikrs, you'll be given a zikr to do. As you're doing these zikrs and making your contemplation, you're not going to see the heavens, you're going to see your demons. As soon as the khalwal begins, it's as if Allah gave permission that you are in a qab, that through your discipline you are not speaking to anyone, you eat a certain restricted diet and you begin your zikr and your practices. As soon as you make your tafakkur and begin to ask to be in the company of pious people, to be with the guides, to be with the shaykhs, then they begin to release that, let us to show you what you brought into this qab. Well, it's not Allah punishing you, but what did that child bring is what he's going to now experience in there. That all the spiders, all the worms, all these bad things that are inside and around you will begin to show its manifestation of energy. So as soon as they're sitting and they're doing the zikr and the awrahs that they've been given, immediately these energies and negative energies will begin to manifest themselves from the negative energy that you brought into the room through your existence and through your character. This is by permission of Allah that these energies will have a permission to manifest themselves. They manifest themselves like spiders and you are the source of food and they come all over you and they manifest all over you and they begin to bite you. They cannot then there's no permission to rip the skin or pierce the skin, they're merely able with their energy to use your mind against yourself. Because your mind when it thinks it saw something on your hand, it immediately can trigger a sensor to make you feel like it's been bitten. So without the training of tafakkur and contemplation, 
that you're in training all the time that I'm making contemplation, I'm making my zikr, making my zikr, keeping my madad, keeping my practice of my, my shaykh always with me, always with me. If that's not solid there's no way to survive that attack if it begins into that khalwa. That when these snakes begin to come, when the spiders begin to come, the rats begin to come because every level of the characteristic will have a manifestation. Even the wasps, think of every type of wild animal that begins to manifest. One day you go and it's all snakes and these snakes then begin to move because this is an unveiling, you will sense all of them all around you. And your whole practice is to keep yourself in taslim and submit, keep your madad and keep your connection, make your zikr and then these things begin to enter into the orifice of your mouth, into the orifices of your nose, your ears, all of your, your body parts, you feel them entering into that body. And you keep yourself on istiqam, keep yourself firm, do your zikr, do your zikr, do your zikr and through your zikr and through your connection to burn through those characteristics and then from the smaller creatures they begin to manifest to the bigger creatures. Where they describe the dog is like anger. Wallah well, that wants to show you, yes you know your characteristic of anger in the qab they're going to be like wild dogs that eat you. That wildness is coming and the whole time your guide is whispering within you, keep your connection, keep your connection, keep your connection until there's a point in which they begin to train you that your belief is firm enough to begin to change that energy that's coming upon you. And you begin to tell your heart that they are not dogs, they are not dogs, these energies they are angels. And Allah begin to give you control over your mind, that your heart to take control and begin to convert that energy and bring it towards haqqaiq and bring it towards realities and purification means that the first levels of tariqah are moving through these hijabs. The qab is 70,000 times more difficult than what we're describing because there's no way out. There's no time to open your eyes and breathe and, and to come out of that difficulty. As soon as the qab, it's it, the nafs is gone, you feel it a hundred percent. Means that the first levels of tariqah are moving through these hijabs. Now whether that opens with a permission for khalwa then that student has to be trained on how to enter into the khalwa. Their life has to be based on their tafakkur, on their meditation, on their muraqabah. How to know that وَقُلُمَا sadiqeen Allah's words are eternal. Allah knows the future, knows everything. So when He's saying, keep the company of these sadiqs, keep the company of the siddiqs, keep the company of good people, means that at every moment you must be in their company. Not just you sat with them five minutes and you went home, but at every moment you're in that tafakkur, in every moment you're in that reality where Allah that these are the people who die before death. And Allah said, don't deem them to be dead in their grave. If somebody reached maut, a qabl and maut, they're alive. See, so means ahli hayat, their soul is everywhere. Wherever Allah wants their soul to be, this is the duality of light. Anyone with a basic physics in school right now should know that. That if you see somebody in a particle and in a solid form, they have two forms. They have a form in which is a wave and that wave is moving. If you train yourself to break the physicality and move through your soul, your soul is light. Your light will see the light and the light is all waves. So these waves must be moving in infinite directions. But you only see the particle and the people of particles they only say, no it's one person is one place. Oh, but the reality of light is, is, is… you're incorrect, it's everywhere. If you see with light, you'll see the world of light. 
So it means all of that training has to accompany first, that you have to be from the people of the world of light. The arwah of the people of light are everywhere, why is it that you don't see them? And why is it that you're not able to connect with them? And that's what they want, to connect with the world of light. Malakut kulli shay, Allah just says, that world of light it encompasses everything, it is the source of all power. If your hand is in that hand, Allah is giving His Subhan. Glory be to the hand that is connected to the malakut, it's kulli shay, it's all encompassing. Not the world of form, it's the dirtiest and the lowest. Levels of the Heart Lataif al Kalb by Shaykh Nurjan Marahmadi. There are subtle energies and realities that are dressing the heart. This unique masterpiece invites readers from all faiths to step forward and begin the process of unveiling the true spiritual realities within their own hearts. Our life is a seclusion. Every moment we're in an intention, so then they spread that khalwa in the tariqah to every day of our life. Every time you're fighting a characteristic, it's a moment of that khalwa. Allah asking and choosing that this test that's coming to you of your bad character that you're not accepting, do you want to fight it now? or you want the grave to be the reservation, I'll reserve you a table there. So, no, no Ya Rabbi, I want the table now. So then you fight through that characteristic means the two dogs of anger died, few cockroaches died, few rats died. If you keep fighting through the characteristics, those animals begin to die. Means that from that reality they begin to dig, 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 dig to the veil of our humanity that is the thickest veil upon our being. And if that veil is pierced through all the cleansing and through all the purification, then the complete and common perfections are lifted. Whether that opens within a khalwa or begins to be given to us slowly, slowly in a dose in which we can absorb and to tolerate. We are a talking animal now, we are not from insan. Insan they are like angelic beings, we are just talking baboons, that's the planet of the apes. Allah wants us to see that, say, yeah see you used to be insan, noble, beautiful creatures, now you are the people of the zoo. And Allah says, this is all you are now, that's not the… that's not insan. Insan, alam al-Qur'an khalaq al-insan, the one whom Allah taught the holy Qur'an. These characteristics of wild, crazy, dirty people, that's not what Allah intended. So it means that every day we are in a khalwa. And at every moment Allah is asking, do you want to fight through your characteristic? So this imtihan and test comes into your life, pass your test. A couple rats will go, a couple dogs will go, a couple cockroaches will go and the worms will go, the worms will go and the worms were the most difficult because they keep coming everywhere, all over the place. Everything you eat, everything you drink, moving through your eyelids and through your eyeballs and through every part of your body you feel these worms. And with your zikr and with your contemplation Allah says that if you don't fight these worms now, they will manifest in the grave and they'll eat your body. And you feel every bite that they're eating from your flesh. That's why when they bury people, they bury them nice, they wash them, they perfume them. And what do you have after a few days? Worms. And the worms ate the body, 
Mulan Sheikh Nazim got the Salah so would often ask, so where did these worms came from? Because the people who are really scared, they take their body and they bury it now in the in a building. They, they say, no, 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 we don't want to go on the earth because they're afraid that the, the earth is going to eat us. So then they make a what, sarcophagus, they make a tomb inside a marble wall because they're very rich and they go in there and they think the worms won't eat them. The Mulan is like, no, the worm's not coming from the earth, the, the, worth, the worm is coming from inside. You are wadu, you are the people of love. If you don't have the wow and the love of wadu, you become a dude. So what are people calling each other now? Dude, dude in Arabic is a, is a worm. Nasty people calling each other self, hey worm, hey worm. Why? Because that's what's going to be eating them. And those are the characteristics that Allah burned them now due through your zikr and your good characteristics. That's why it's not like a regular association. Everything partaking here, every zikr, every association, every light that coming in, every mafin and every zikr is burning those characteristics to lessen the severity of your azab in the grave. It's a big ni'mah. Turuqs and Ahl haqaiq are a big gift from Allah that if people knew what they're bringing into the grave and the difficulty in which the grave is going to be, everyone's going to pass through that. Nobody says, I have a ticket out of the grave. Everybody goes to the emergency room, see all the people screaming. It's a big emergency room. The pub is a big emergency room. What Allah wants is good health for us that escape that difficulty. Go through the training now. Every zikr that you sit in, the lights that are coming from the zikr, Allah is cleansing. Allah is sending specific angels of zikr that come and they cleanse all that wildness, all that wildness. The mafil and salawat on Prophet brings the nazar of Prophet like a sunshine that anything that approaches the sun immediately is burned. Once you burn through all these characteristics, then they begin to show the realities. How to connect with Prophet how to connect with the Divine the Presence. We pray that in this month we understand that we are and by virtue of the turuqs, we are all in seclusion all the time. And that every test that comes to us, you're making a, a conscious choice. That you want to pass the test, you want to get rid of few of these bad characteristics or you just want to have a reserve table in the qab. We pray that Allah get rid of them here and that make our qab to be a sweet place, to be a beautific place. That's why we're not coming through amal, we're coming through Allah's rahmah and mercy. That is rahmah be upon us and then they showed that the only way out of that jahannam, the only way to stop that fire was durood al sharif Because as soon as you praise upon Prophet the ruhaniyat of Prophet enters into that mushkilat and immediately stops everything. Allah won't bring azab upon the light of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah open our hearts to understand and that we pass through the test, pass through the test and to be dressed by the love of Allah love of Sayyidina Muhammad love of awliyaullah fi samawati wa fi ard bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi sir surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.